Hey everyone, so the dust is finally settled, David Dimbleby's been put back into cryogenic stasis and so begins five years of intense debate, both inside Westminster but mainly inside the polling organisations about how to be less rubbish at forecasting next time around. Theresa May's still living at number 10, although a lot of people are questioning whether she's the right person for the job. I watched her in the news as she returned home from visiting the Queen and you know, the police officer let her in the front door and you have to wonder whether she can be trusted to run the country when apparently she can't even be trusted to remember her house keys. In the meantime, she'll be paying Northern Ireland lots of money for DUP support and on a day-to-day basis life will go on. It will just mean a lot more work and negotiating and obviously a lot more time like lots of other hard things in life. You know, The inventor Joseph Swan took years to perfect the light bulb, although presumably he was also working in the pitch black. Black. Um, for now, people are saying Brexit might not happen. Sorry, correction, the BBC and people on Twitter are saying that Brexit might not happen. You know, Back in February, Parliament already had a vote on whether to trigger Article 50 or not, and the Labour Party voted too, and it was still a landslide yes vote, because for every trendy Europhile Labour MP, there's quite a few others outside of London who do mad stuff like drink on a school night or shock, listen to the voters. You know, the media seem to forget it was the Labour Party that used to be against Europe. You know, Many senior members still are, and there's a good chance that you could see a huge internal battle in the party ending up looking worse and Emily Thornberry squeezed into her bikini for the summer. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click on the channel to subscribe.